Hello guys, this is Parosh. Today I am going to show you how to create a basic photo gallery using ActionScript 3. I have Flash Professional Creative Cloud 2015. You can use CS3, CS4, CS5 and above versions. But the important thing is you must select ActionScript 3. Okay, so let's start. Click ActionScript 3. But let's first show you how the photo gallery would look. Okay, the photo gallery will be looking like this one. Uh, there will be two buttons and a gallery with photos. Some photos when I click next button, photo changes, and previous button, photo changes. Okay. Now, here is my default stage dimension. I would like to change it. I would like to change the width 550 to 600 and height 500. And I would like to change default frame rate 35 frames per second. Okay. You see this is my library to make a photo gallery i must import some photo images into my library so let's go file import import to library okay. one two three press open select some photos and then press open you see those selecting photo imported has imported into my library okay now first we have to save this file file save i would like to save it on my desktop photo gallery okay. desktop and there is a folder called photo gallery i'll go inside it and save it here, name it gallery, gallery, press save, and my file has been saved, okay, now I will start creating my gallery, so I will drag first image on my stage, you see when I go property, you see my image is bigger than my stage with six, 640 and height 480. So I'd like to change it same as stage dimension. Okay, click over it and change width with 600 and height 500. And I have to align my image okay so go windows align one thing you must remember you must check this box okay and then align horizontally and vertically as well let's zoom it out okay. now you see I have my image here and now I have to com convert it. Okay, select the image, convert to symbol. Here you see I have the type button. I would like to change it to movie clip. I'll name this movie clip saying uh, ING holder. Press OK. Okay, now you see. In my library, I have a movie clip called IMG Holder, which is already holding one image. If I click, double click on the image, you see, here I have an image. This is my scene one, but I, I am inside image holder. Okay. Let's go back to the scene one. Okay. 
this is my movie clip which is called image holder and inside I have a image and I will bring other images too okay so let's double click again I'll, I have a layer and a frame and I will insert a frame here too to bring another image select the blank empty space insert black keyframe okay so let's drag image number two this is bigger than the previous one let's resize it 600 500 you see my I have lost my image okay it's here so just select the image similarly change alignment okay now it's in the middle of my stage okay select blank space insert blank keyframe drag third image here change width and height 5000 okay and oh, I think I will select the image select the image then change alignment okay now I have a movie clip called image holder and inside this image holder I have three images one two and three if I go to scene one and if I test it let's see what happened control test you see my image holder is running because I have not stopped any frame okay I did command to stop it so it is looping over and over again so I have to stop it okay let's select image holder double click go inside and insert a new layer and double click layer 2 rename it say action you can type you can name anything like script code anything I, I would like to name it action okay okay select lower layer double click rename it images okay now to stop this image for looping you must script here okay and you can skip over the image but I would like to separate it so I'll select this this frame from upper layer go windows action this is my action panel you see all I have to do is to type stop parenthesis semicolon okay save it again file save if I test it now control test you see I am able to stop the image all I have to do is to give all the images stop command okay so just copy this frame copy paste it on the second image paste and paste it again paste 
Now, I have an image holder and inside that image holder I have three images and all the images I have command to stop. Okay. Now let's go back to the scene one. Scene one. Now I'd like to draw a button, actually two button here. So I'll select rectangle two, rectangle and first I will select another layer, new layer, I have to lock the lower layer, lock lower layer and draw a rectangle, a rectangle, ok, select it, let us zoom it, ok, ok, here I have my rectangle, I will go to modify, transform, free transformation. Now I will rotate this rectangle simply by click and then drag it down. Okay, it's done. So now I will select half of this like this. Uh, and delete the selection okay now I see now you see this is like a button okay I'll change the color first this is white I'll change it with um, black okay now let's make it a little smaller 30 Right, 50. Okay, now we have to also convert it. Select it, right click, convert to symbol. This time I will choose button type and name it button. Okay. Now you see I have a button here. If I do this one and I can still bring this button on my stage. Okay. Now I would like to have my button some animation when I roll over and roll out. So uh, let's first first test it. Control, okay. You see, it's, it look, look, looks like a button, but nothing happens when I roll over and roll out and click. So, so, I, so I'd like to have some animation here. This is very easy. Just select a button, double click, go inside, insert a keyframe. Change the color property. I'd like to select red and then another keyframe. Change the color width. This is orange. Uh, I think this is orange. No, dark yellow. Okay, I'll select this one. You see, my default button will be looks like this, and when I mouse over, over and color will change right, and when I click, it will be yellow. Okay, let's go back to the scene, scene one. If I test it, control test. You see when I mouse over this button, this color change, when I click, it's also working nicely. Okay. Now, rename this layer first, okay. Here I have my button, so I'd like to rename this layer, name it buttons, buttons, 
and this layer image holder okay okay now i'll copy this button copy paste in place okay one another button is pasted over so i would like to change its way okay so go modify transform flip horizontally if i drag it i can see i have now two buttons on the stage okay if i test it again test movie you see i have two buttons but nothing working here because i haven't pulled it here so to make this photo gallery work i must type some code okay so lock this button layer first insert a new layer rename it action as well select the frame windows action here you must type stop opening parenthesis closing parenthesis semicolon okay uh, but to script this button i must give this button an instant name okay so first lock action layer unlock button layer select next button you see here it is written instant name so click here change the instant name with your button name like next button and then select another button and name it print button okay now these two buttons will listen my event listener because i have given instant name of this buttons but one thing i didn't do is i didn't give my image holder a name instant name okay so let's name it similarly image so i have three objects on my stage one is image holder one next button and last one previous button now i will type some script to make this thing work okay lock all this layer select action frame of the action layer windows action now i have type an event listener to listen to my buttons so type add even listener mouse even dot click click and i have to name a function name i would like to give it click click handler okay closing parenthesis semicolon my event listener has been created uh, my event listener will be listening mouse event and click and the function will fire click handler now i have to type the function to type function of type function click handler e column mouse event 
closing parenthesis opening brace enter you see it type closing brace for me okay now uh, simply here I, I, I could type uh, next button dot add event listener mouse even click and then previous button that um, dot add event listener mouse even dot click but I didn't do, do that because I'd like to make a switch statement okay to do so type switch parenthesis e dot you see it has imported class for me e dot target okay closing parenthesis opening brace enter type so case colon enter break semicolon again case colon enter break semicolon now in what case it will be my next button case so type next button this is my instant name of my next button okay and in this case free button free button okay now whatever I type inside this blank space it will work for me but it must have to according to syntax okay now I'll type what I want I would like to change image holder its image so I'll type IMG image holder dot go to and stop stop image holder dot frame plus one closing parenthesis semicolon that means when I click next button my image holder goes and stop image holder inside image holder the current frame plus one copy this line paste it for previous button and change plus to minus if I test this movie it should work control test okay if I click next button you see it's working the previous button you see it's working but now I want my image fade out or fade in ok let's go back to control sorry windows action and to make fade out I have to, imp I have to import a variable var I'd like to name this var t colon twin you see semicolon you see it has already import imported twin class for me now when I click next button T new twin and here I have to type parenthesis and here I have to type what object I want to twin I want to twin image holder image holder and what type of twin it will be alpha alpha and how to twin strong is out you can type none is none like this strong is out dot out and where to where to start your twin from zero and where to end from one that means 100 and how long the duration 
I'll make a point five five seconds and then true. You see, I'd like to twin my image holder alpha and twin type strong dot is out from zero to one into five seconds. If I let's copy this line and paste it below for previous button. Okay. Now I know if I test it it will show an error, but let show you that. Control test. You see it has an error, it says undefined property is strong because I have imported the twin but I have not import imported strong is out. Okay. So I have I, I also have to import this class. To do so I have to type just import fl dot transition dot easing dot time semicolon save this project save if I test it now it should work test okay you see fade effect but it's too fast let's change timing okay go windows action change 0.5 to one second and this one is also one second save it save control test you see it's working fine and I think it will do for me let's see the code again I have created an event listener and switch statement and command the two button to go to next image and previous image. But the interesting thing is if I added more images, I don't have to change this code. Okay, let's show you. Unlock image holder. But first, I have to bring some new images. File, import to library. Open. You see, two new images go inside the image holder. Insert blank keyframe, drag number four image resize it change alignment insert another blank keyframe drag another image change alignment so we change dimension change alignment and give them stop command to copy paste paste again go back to scene 1 save it control test movie You see, it's working fine. Okay, so you can add as many images as you like to, but you don't have to change the code. And this is the advantage of this switch statement. And and this 
image holder dot go to and stop image holder dot current frame plus one you can use if else if else but it would be a problem for you when you change images okay so what we have learned today is we we made we had make a image holder two button and inside this image holder we had bring or drag few images and each image we gave stop command and then in the main main frame an action pan, panel we have typed an event listener using switch statement and also give the image holder twin okay I think you have learned something today if you like to please subscribe and i'll bring more tutorial to you if you support me then i'll bring more and more tutorial because i have started flash from zero to this grade you know i can also make some games okay and i will I'll make tutorial all of all I know okay hope you like it see you next time bye